Hi guys, good evening and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host Eddie and in tonight's video review I will be doing a double episode review. So I'm going to be talking about an episode review for one show immediately followed by another episode review for a completely different show. And the reason why I'm doing that is because this is how the episodes dropped, literally one right after another. So I decided instead of doing two separate videos, I would just make one. I've done it before. I did it last year and it worked out just fine. So uh, the first part of this video, I'll be discussing the latest episode of The Walking Dead, which was immediately followed by the season two premiere of the spinoff The Walking Dead World Beyond, which dropped uh, the premiere for its second and final season. Uh, earlier tonight, right after the latest episode of Walking Dead. So I realize it might be a bit difficult to, you know, differentiate, but trust me, I'll let you know when I'm going to start talking about the other. So first, I'm starting with the newest episode of The Walking Dead. So if you're not caught up on The Walking Dead, don't keep watching or listening to this video, as I will be going into spoilers. That being said, you have been warned, and I will repeat this warning right before I start talking about Walking Dead World Beyond. But right now, we're talking about Walking Dead, so you have been warned. That being said, let's dive right into it. It. Very enjoyable episode. I really liked it a lot. You know, um, I really loved the conversation between Negan and Maggie. And even though it was rather cold and kind of fucked up what he told her about how if he could have gone back and done things differently, he would have killed everyone in Rick's group. And I liked his reasoning. It's like, you know, today was a good day for us, referring to him and her, you know, and how they had a pretty positive time with him teaching her how to handle and herd walkers and be a whisperer, basically. Um, but he also said the only way we move forward and our relationship continues to mend is that we're honest. And he was being pretty fucking honest. And I got to say, I kind of get where he's coming from because up until the Saviors and Negan encountered Rick and his people, their little operation was going just fine. They encounter Rick and all of his people and the Saviors fell apart. Negan no longer was Negan, the leader of the Saviors. So, you know, I could see why he would say he would say that he would go back and kill everyone, not just Glenn and Abraham. So it makes a lot of sense. And that might have been hard for Maggie to hear. But by hearing that and him being honest, maybe that will continue to extend this bridge or not. We'll see what happens. But it was good character stuff and I liked it a lot. I also like the fact that Leah isn't a total heartless a psychopath like Pope or the other Reapers where, you know, this poor family posed absolutely no threat to anyone and the woman was about to die. And, you know, Daryl was the one who ultimately put her down and Leah seemed willing to, but couldn't bring herself to for some reason. But it was nice knowing that Leah isn't some cold-blooded, heartless killer like the rest of the Reapers. So it was that was a nice little moment to have as well. You know, and uh, I also enjoyed the stuff uh, with our characters back at Commonwealth. I love seeing Ezekiel in such good spirits and sounding and looking a hell of a lot better. Um, I don't understand why they took Yumiko's brother away. He did absolutely nothing wrong. So why they suddenly took him into custody was beyond me. And why he's so persistent about not having people know he's a surgeon also unknow unknown to me. But that information will probably come in time. Uh, I do now have a new favorite, a new uh, character I absolutely despise and hate with every fiber of my being, which is that prick of a son of the governor, who's the leader of uh, of uh, Commonwealth, the prick that Eugene and Stephanie risked their lives saving him and his little girlfriend, and the bastard didn't show any gratitude and insulted and was rude to both of them. And goddamn, Eugene was a huge highlight in this episode. I mean, hats off to Eugene, being a total badass, killing walkers left and right, and then calling the guy out for being a prick, and then punching the prick in the nose. Abraham would be damn proud of him if he saw him do all this shit just now in this episode, because that was fucking great. So good on Eugene. You know, he's had a hell of an arc on this show, and I love where they're going with his character in the final season. So good on him. And God, do I hate that little prick. Oh, I hope somebody kills him or he gets ripped apart by walkers before this show ends because uh, I need to see him die. I really need to see him die. <laughs> but uh, overall, great episode, and I cannot believe that next week's episode is the mid-season finale. And it's not even the mid-season. This is just the end of the first half of season 11 as the rest of the show will be dropping at some point next year. 
thankfully, we won't be uh, short of Walking Dead content because now The Walking Dead World Beyond dropped its second season premiere earlier tonight right after this episode of Walking Dead. So we'll have that show to watch. And then in a few weeks, season seven of Fear the Walking Dead will be with us. So there'll be plenty of walkers to enjoy for the rest of the year until Walking Dead comes back in 2022. So that's what I thought of The Walking Dead, the latest episode. Now let's talk about the season two premiere of The Walking Dead World Beyond. Uh, spoilers from here on out if you haven't caught up on World Beyond, either with the season one finale or the season two premiere, which I'm about to discuss. So spoiler warning issued, spoilers starting now. First and foremost, a uh, strong, solid opener. I liked how they quickly checked in when, with almost everybody. Didn't see what uh, was going on with Silas or the other two boys, but uh, we got a pretty good idea that the, you know they were all relatively okay for the most part. But we checked in with both sisters and their respective allies. It was so great seeing Felix reunite with his boyfriend after all this time, especially getting such heartbreaking news about their home being completely obliterated. And uh, wow, that opening scene with the massive herd walking towards Omaha and the CRM but deliberately taking down the wall and allowing this herd to just move in to kill all those people. I mean, these people are cold blooded and they can bullshit themselves and anybody else they come across and say they're doing this all for the right reasons. But that was just fucking mass murder. That was murder by zombie, basically. You know, and I still don't get, I don't understand what the point of that was, why they considered Omaha such a threat, but we'll find out their motivations in due time. Great episode overall. Um, I was just so sorry to see Hope go through that horrible trial run to see if she was actually worth uh, CRM's time and energy of having her on as an asset. But, um, you know, it's good character stuff for Hope and there was good character stuff for her sister as well. You know, like I love the fact that this episode ended with her killing a CRM soldier. And now that she's taken human life, she's ready to go to war with the CRM to rescue her sister and her father. And that's just fine with me, you know, because she needs to get some blood on her hands before the real battle begins. There was a bittersweet moment where we got a, a cute little reunion with Hope and her father. They were so happy to see each other. And that was quite heartwarming in an overall pretty dark uh, season opener. Did anybody else catch the point of the point in the episode early on when the colonel was referring to uh, how they called large groups of zombies of columns? or um, hordes, and then she used the word herd, like herds. We haven't heard anybody to use the word herd in this show yet until now, and it is entirely possible she picked up the term herd for describing an enormous group of zombies from none other than Rick Grimes. Is it possible that she has already had some scenes with Rick Grimes uh, that we just haven't seen yet, either in this season of this show or in one of the Walking Dead movies? I don't know, but it's fun to think about. It definitely caught my attention, caught my ears. So just something fun I thought I'd throw out there for you guys to think about. So overall, this was a good Sunday night full of great Walking Dead content, and I'm looking forward to the next couple episodes. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed these two episodes and shows as much as I did. Did you have any favorite moments or parts let me know what you think down below in the comments section have an awesome rest of your night the walking dead season 11 mid-season finale drops next sunday on amc along with the next newest episode of the walking dead world beyond which is back with new episodes also dropping sunday night same channel thanks for watching everybody have an awesome rest of your night and of course until next time may the force be with you